Beautiful Aquarius, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in to do your weekly reading, so let's dive in and see what's coming. While I'm clearing and shuffling, <laughs> do check your subscription. Some people got unsubscribed and didn't mean to. I've heard a lot about this this week. You hear YouTubers talk about it. It's never really happened on my channel, but it happened. So um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you thought you were subscribed, be sure to check and see if you're still subscribed, okay? All right, so here we go. Hey, Chippy, I am all out of cookies, buddy. You ate two last time, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so let's see what's coming for you, Aquarius. We're looking at this week all the way up into um, the end of August in this reading, okay? So here we go, Aquarius. I'm gonna pull these by feel for you. I'm using my Serpent and Peacock cards. I love these cards. They're pretty awesome. They give us a lot of details. Hi, Chippy, I'm sorry, I'm all out of C-O-O-K-I-E-S. I know, you're a good boy. I'll get you one later, I promise. I promise I will. Aquarius energy. What's coming for Aquarius energy? Ooh, that one really stood out to me. Uh-oh, Five of Swords. All right, let's see what's coming here. I'm gonna get one more. <laughs> Interesting energy. Oh, and this one, okay. Page of Swords, you're gonna get some kind of message. Um, and I don't mean just any message, I mean an important message. And what you don't see coming, Seven of Swords, you got some, energy here um aquarius but we'll see we'll see how this comes out for you okay <laughs> all right so there's there's good and bad here i wouldn't say totally bad but there's some toxic people toxic energy here which we've seen around aquarius i don't know who's mad at you but somebody is <laughs> okay so let's take a look at this aquarius um first card up we've got king of cups okay king of cups is a really really good energy and i especially like it in this deck this is king david from the bible okay and this is king david playing the harp and as the story goes in the bible he played the harp to drive out demons which are, is shown up here <laughs> you've got this really mean um five of swords energy and five of swords energy is a very mean negative nasty energy so it's interesting we're starting out this reading right away Aquarius with King David playing the harp to drive out negative energy yeah and this is a lot of um, you know if we read this as regular tarot the king of cups is all about somebody who's very nurturing very heart-centered somebody very very trustworthy and a good listener and often a father okay so let's keep going with this. Your challenge right now is the Hierophant. You could be really thinking a lot, very strongly about how spirituality um, or religion or your beliefs and things like that play into your everyday life. And I feel like, you know, sometimes it's not easy to bridge those together, you know, because everyday life and making money and job requirements and things like that are often at odds with people's beliefs and I feel like in this case that that could be the case for some of you Aquarius for some of you this is going to be a marriage maybe marriage is creating a conflict for you at this time but for more of you I feel like it's having to do with this negative energy of what do I believe versus um, wherever this negative energy is coming from and we also what you don't see coming is seven of swords over here haven't even gotten to that yet seven of swords is an energy that has to do with um, somebody trying to take something from you or steal from you in some way. We'll look and see who that is, okay? But five and seven of swords, and <laughs> there, there's a lot going on here. There's a whole lot going on here. This is crazy reading so far, Aquarius. I'm not even sure where to go with this because it's really, um, really, really interesting. Actually, both of these cards have King David. I didn't realize that. I mean, we have him here, but also we have him here. And in this card, he's connecting with God. Okay. So um, he's getting messages directly from God on this card. So, and this is your challenge. I almost feel like um, 
in in this you know before i got on here i was like i always ask you know which cards which deck of cards should i use and they said use these but you know these cards are intense <laughs> uh, like i said you get a lot of details and additional meaning with these particular cards really interesting so there's something here about what you're doing in your life and being it being at odds with your beliefs or your connection to the divine or your spirituality or something like that that may be causing some sort of tension in your it's at in some area of your life okay so we'll see more about what that is now what's um kind of on your mind at this time is maybe feeling a little bit stuck with this reversed knight of wands like maybe you want to move maybe you want to do something else maybe things are kind of up in the air and you can't quite get them grounded we'll we'll see this is about feeling a little bit too grounded though or stuck in some ways now we've got some healing energy over here which is your final outcome Aquarius at this time four of swords this is about sort of pulling back being in your own energy um, maybe you're healing from something emotional or something physical or maybe you just want some time to meditate maybe you just want some time to think your own thoughts and that sort of thing I feel like for some of you again you're at odds with that because of demands of the quote real world <laughs> which isn't all that real a lot of times right now here you've got somebody looking into you or somebody who's going to send you some sort of important message we'll look in, in further on that and we've got this four of pentacles energy which is kind of telling me it did come up reverse like you're having a hard time holding on to your money you want to hold on to more of your money and um, that feels like it's coming up as a final outcome but i'm going to get more details now what you don't see i'm sorry i'm having a hard time explaining this reading because it's so in depth and it's so broad it's going in all these directions for me so I, be patient I'll get there okay what you don't see coming over here um, is this the seven of swords and again this is some energy that wants to be sneaky or um, steal something from you sometimes it can be a thief it can you know it can be a thief it can be um, a company that's not paying you what they said they were you know things like that think in terms of things like that so let's come back over here let's get some more details um what's the king? let's clarify king of cups really really good card king of cups can be like i said a father this is really significant for you aquarius at this time so it can be your father it can be um your beliefs because again this is about king david it could be the name david for some of you and take it as it resonates for some of you we could be looking at a queen of cups but the cards are usually pretty specific about that all right so let's clarify do we use this deck no they're telling me they're telling me to go to this deck okay <laughs> all right so let's clarify king of cups king of cups why is king of cups so significant and it could be if you are a father watching this could be that being a father is very significant for you at this time or it, I keep getting a father energy and it's interesting with this Gemini full moon that we just had this past weekend um, a lot of father issues were brought up for some reason with that Gemini full moon for people so if there were issues around a father or um, you know father children kind of uh, connection there I, I it may have been kicked up for you last weekend you know some kind of big emotional release or something like that but it is really significant even coming in to this week so i would watch out for that too all right let's clarify it let's see what the cards actually say though intense energy <laughs> it's clarified by page of wands empress empress is a mother energy so this could actually be for some of you parents we've got empress and king of cups um, it could have to do with childbirth sometimes empress has to do with birth maybe it's on your mind that you're going to become a father or so it's really strong at this time aquarius um it you know 
I know it keeps coming up. I sound like a broken record, but it's right here in the cards. There's something about wanting to be really happy. And this can have to do with children, the sun card. It can also have to do with vacations and things like that. But I'm clarifying King of Cups. I think you're going to be getting some kind of message soon having to do with parents, children, babies, fathers, things like that. I think some of you are really going to be getting that kind of message because there's something about message with this page of wands a really happy message and we got the sun card so this is a really happy card for you aquarius at this time whatever it is for most of you really happy card let's clarify why the hierophant is your challenge at this time now the hierophant has to do with commitments marriages um spirituality connection with god as you can see on this card again we've got king david on the first two cards of your reading, which I think is really interesting. So why is the Hierophant a challenge for Aquarius at this time? <laughs> Here's the Sun card again. Um, connection with Divine, for sure, and it's a challenge. And it, um, The Sun came up reversed, almost like you're not as happy as you want to be with regards to this commitment whatever this dedication is whether it's a marriage or your commitment to um, your beliefs it's like there's some kind of a little damper on it there's something that's holding you back here's the strength card coming up now this has a lion on it the lion often makes me think of archangel michael as well so there's something here again talking about connection with divine this could also be talking about your health your um, actual physical strength could be having to do with a Leo energy as well. And again, we're looking at the challenge of why the Hierophant is a challenge at this time. Yeah, and we've got a Queen of Swords reversed. So for some of you, Aquarius, if we go straight to the meaning of this has to do with commitments and marriage and things like that, you might be dealing with a reversed Queen of Swords. <laughs> She's not a very nice person. I'll just tell you, Queen of Swords reversed is somebody who is really no nonsense. She'd be the queen that would say, off with their heads, <laughs> right? So that could be your challenge at this time is dealing with um, maybe a commitment that you had with this Queen of Wands, I mean, Queen of Swords, okay? Or Aquarius, you might be be the Queen of Swords because maybe you're going through a situation where you just had enough. Um, so, you know, Queen of Swords is not going to mess around. <laughs> so you'll know if it's you or not. Now, the thing is, the um, the Queen of Swords, all the swords have to do with air energy, which is Aquarius as well. So it could be Libra, it could be Gemini, it could be Aquarius. Why are you feeling stuck at this time? I feel like in your energy, you might be feeling a little stuck, a little too grounded. Maybe you want to go somewhere. Maybe you want to move. Um, and again, we've got this Knight of Wands reversed. Why is Aquarius feeling that? What's up with that? And then we'll go to these swordsy cards. <laughs> yeah, because Page of Pentacles. Could be you're still having to learn something new on the job could be about schools maybe can't move because of a school system um, or students or your children and something like that that page of Pentacles energy yeah it some of you are feeling really stuck why is this this card is literally stuck that is so weird boy talk about the cards talking to you yeah these cards are literally they still are sticking together for some reason some of you are feeling stuck because of a separation. Some of you went through some kind of a heartache, separation from a relationship or a job or something, left you feeling stuck. So here's a couple of stuck cards, okay? All of these really stuck cards. So Aquarius, some of you are feeling very stuck. I mean, literally the cards are doing this. And I think it's because you had some sort of an ending that was hurtful. You know, Three of Swords is a feeling feeling stabbed in the heart almost. You know, it's a very painful kind of separation or ending. So it's not for everybody here, but for somebody. Somebody went through that. So let's go over and 
sorry, something came up on my phone. Um, there's something here about this five of swords and seven of swords energy. This is what, whoops, this is what you don't see coming is seven of swords, the um, thief card. And this is, why is, I'm sorry, hold on. I had to get that off. Okay. So five of swords is showing up in your immediate future. And that's a really negative kind of energy where somebody is um, trying to cause you harm in some way. What is that about? Ooh, it's a masculine king of swords reversed. This is um, sometimes a narcissist. This is sometimes, because again, this is reversed. This is somebody who can be really calcul calculating and very um, undermining. Somebody who would gaslight you, you know what I mean? Gaslighting, like making you feel crazy. <laughs> you say the sky is blue and they're like, no, it's not. It's blue. <laughs> you know, things like that. And a king of cups. What is going on? We've got King of Cups again. Oh, and Knight of Wands again. Aquarius, these cards are repeating. I tell you, you cannot make this stuff up. So I'm clarifying this negative energy. We know the negative energy is coming from him. <clears throat> this is reversed King of Swords. One, I consider this one of the worst car, um, cards in the deck. It's getting in my throat chakra. This energy does not want me to expose it, but I'm going to <laughs> Archangel Michael, come come help us out. Again, we've got somebody, we've got, we started out with this King of Cups energy with King David um, playing the harp to drive out demons. I think this is uh, the connection to the demons is whoever this King of Swords is, has attachments, negative attachments as shown in five of swords if i'm explaining this right <clears throat> that kind of energy like jump in and try to keep me from talking and it did so that sort of confirms it to me Whew. i feel like there's something going on here with this reversed king of um swords and the king of cups who came up again two different decks here's king of cups twice this person's really significant. This person's trying to be helpful. This person, this King of Cups, can be a father energy, like I mentioned earlier, and also somebody who's on the good side. Somebody who's a good listener, very heart-centered. And then we got dealing with this really manipulative, scheming, narcissistic energy. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. That's a tough energy why is that coming up why is this coming up i think this might be more than i can cover all of it in this reading but if this is for you consider doing a personal on this and we can get more okay the personals are open until sunday so the details are there but let me see what else i get right now why is this five of swords and these two guys showing up Somebody's cutting something out, Aquarius. Here's Ace of Swords. Like, there is a cloud of the silver lining in this, okay? There is a cloud of the silver lining coming out of this. And here's the reversed Four of Pentacles. These cards are repeating. Again, we got Four of Pentacles twice coming up. This is the final outcome, like feeling like you can't hold on to your money because of this negative energy coming through this King of swords that could be a partner that could be a boss that could be a business partner for that matter a romantic partner business partner page of swords somebody spying on you somebody sending you negative energy and somebody with a lot of smoke and mirrors like pretending to be something they're not with the seven of cups Literally, this energy at this moment is making me feel nauseous. It is. It's like hitting me um, in this solar plexus, trying to like take over. It's a very controlling. Oh, yeah. This is a very controlling energy with this Five of Swords Aquarius. Very controlling. Like it's hurting me to read it, so I want to clear it out. 
there's something about you've seen through this look at this hermit shining a light on the toxic energy and inner wisdom i feel like this is you aquarius like you've seen through this but what do you do about it sometimes once you see it and you target it then it targets you back you know kind of thing oh my goodness here we got a lot of competition fighting arguing somebody in competition with you battles what is going on here aquarius like I know some of you are watching this going, wow, that's my situation and I feel for you. This is a hard situation. Here's the tower. This is not leading anywhere good and if you can get away from this and guard yourself from this energy, I would. I'm just gonna be honest. This is a bad energy, Aquarius. So watch yourself. If you know what the situation is, and I think a lot of you do, really guard yourself and see if you can get out of this situation because it's going to fall apart some something's going to crumble something's going to crumble with this i don't like giving readings like this but i i gotta be you know i'm honest i'm really honest with what i see that's not a good energy it makes me feel sick really it makes me feel nauseous and when I get that kind of feeling in a reading which thankfully I haven't had in a long time um, it it tells me there's demonic energy involved it's really bad and this just came up too it popped out this is the knight of swords reverse so that's telling me it will come and go quickly <clears throat> now if that's not your situation <laughs> that bit of the reading don't try to make it fit okay Whew, wow, Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> um, do we dare look at Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords is what you don't even see coming, and it um, is a thief. It's it's sneaky energy, and I'm sure it has to do with that, that King of Swords, that co very controlling kind of energy. I see why things are at odds with you about your beliefs and your dedication, whatever commitment you may have made. Because if you made a commitment to a job with somebody who's ruthless like that, um, yeah. Let's ask about Seven of Swords really quick. I'm sorry, I wish I had happier news here. But somebody needed a warning about this, so I just have to go with this. Oh my. Seven of Swords, I, again, can't make this up. Seven of Swords is can you see this is clarified by five of swords in this other deck it's come up twice so your sneaky person has a lot of very negative undermining kind of energy <laughs> could be somebody younger or somebody with children or somebody who started out romantic and then turned I mean, somebody started out as a friend and then turned romantic with this Page of Cups, but it also, this came up reversed, and usually Page of Cups reversed is a narcissistic energy. Somebody immature, at least, very immature. Yeah, it could have been some sort of initial attraction, maybe, but it's almost like this person was trying to attract you either in a romantic sense or in a monetary sense so that they could then screw you over, to be honest. It was a setup, is what I'm getting. I would be very careful, and this is what you don't see coming, some sort of a setup. Bad news. Uh, this whole, yeah. This is why this reading is coming out the way it is, Aquarius, because you needed to know, like there's some kind of a setup, yeah. Um, here's the hermit energy. This can be Virgo, it's come up twice. But what I'm getting with this mostly is, um, you're being forewarned about toxic energy. You can see him shining a spotlight on toxic energy. This is inner wisdom. Use your inner wisdom on this. Um, let me go over to this deck again. What does Aquarius need to know? <laughs> final words, final quick words here for Aquarius. And again, personals are open until Sunday. If you want to, if you're in this situation and you want to look into this further, let me know. <laughs> Okay, what else does Aquarius need or want to know about anything? Final words for Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles. So there's money here. 
there's definitely a big sum of money here and this may be why somebody's targeting you because they want that so be careful you don't get set up about this yeah here's juggling uh, somebody somebody's juggling you or money here's things being off track with the upside down chariot <laughs> uh, what else does yeah in the moon deception you need to be really careful Aquarius I'm not trying to give you a negative reading because I would never do that but you know when this many cards come up with five of swords seven of swords repeating and um, things like that um, be careful be careful who you trust and be careful how you proceed don't get yourself in a situation where you'll be set up for anything yeah and I would say um, really you know if this is your connection to divine if this is your connection to God I would take full advantage of that right now I would really connect with that because you need that kind of protection again this was the first card that came up driving out demons King David and this is King David too these are the first two cards that came up there's a reason for that Aquarius okay okay so on that note have a great week and um, I'll be back in to read for you again soon thanks for being here Aquarius do check your subscription and um, I hope this reading didn't scare you off this is not normally how my readings go but honestly somebody here um, apparently needed this reading so thanks for being here if you're still here okay all right talk to you soon bye-bye